<laughs> What's up, fellow movie boss and film connoisseurs? It is your self-proclaimed cinema shogun here. And I've been trying to dodge this topic. I've been trying to avoid this topic. I've been dodging it like Neo in the Matrix, just trying to stay away from it. But after this tweet from Zack Snyder last night, after this tweet right here, after Zack Snyder tweeted this, I just could no longer stray away from this topic. I had to address it. I simply had to. A tweet like this is worth addressing. Now, I know a lot of you are like, hey, what does this mean? Where is this coming from? Well, there's a little controversy kind of going on online right now where the creators of the Harley Quinn show over on HBO Max wanted to include a scene with Batman going down on Catwoman. Now, of course, this is, this caused a lot of discussions online, and it actually caused DC and Warner Brothers to pull the scene from the TV show, basically saying that they can't have Batman depicted, you know, going down on someone on a cartoon. They make toys of Batman. They can't have Batman doing things like this. So, I mean, like I said, there's a lot of interesting discussions and debates going on online right now over whether Batman can or cannot give head in the comics and in the cartoons. There's a lot of funny memes spiraling out of it. And I just wanted to address it real quick. So how do I feel about this? How do I personally feel about this? Well, on one hand, I don't need Batman or any of my other superheroes having sex. Like I don't need sex scenes in my comic books. But DC's already popped my Batman sex scene cherry when I had to witness Batman and Batgirl committing atrocities on the killing joke. Now, as far as Zack Snyder goes, I'm not really a Zack Snyder fan, but I found this kind of funny. It caught me off guard. I almost view it as a jab at DC and Warner Bros. Like, of course, he would be down with Batman going down on someone. I mean, his original vi vision for Batman and his cinematic universe basically had Batman getting raped in prison. So there's that. So I'm, I'm I'm assuming that, of course, Zack Snyder's Batman goes down on people. If any iteration of Batman goes down on people, of course it could be Zack Snyder's. Now, normally, I wouldn't support this. I wouldn't support things like this. But DC's already made Batman and Batgirl raw dog on top of a nasty, smelly Gotham rooftop in the middle of a cartoon movie. So how can I really blame Zack? How can I blame Zack for this tweet when DC and Warner Brothers has already literally had Batman and Batgirl having sex, but now they don't want him going down on anyone? Because apparently Batman can have sex, but Batman can't go down on someone. But we'll address that later. But the first thing when I saw Zack Snyder tweet, tweet this, it was a little interesting because I was wondering like, what does this mean for the Snyderverse? What does this mean for the Snyderverse? We know that there's a large faction of people still online petitioning for restore the Snyderverse. They're trying to get the Snyderverse restored. They want Snyder to complete his vision and make, you know, a couple more Justice League movies or whatnot. But, I mean, the Snyderverse has been dead. And if you have, like, a shred of common sense left in you, you should view this as further confirmation that the Snyderverse is dead. DC refused... For this type of image to be shown on a raunchy adult Harley Quinn show where they cuss and they have sexual stuff going on in that show already. But they refuse for this image to be shown on that adult raunchy cartoon. So of course they would be upset if their director for the Justice League movies is online tweeting stuff like that. So I gotta assume that the folks over at DC and Warner Brothers are not happy about this at all. On one hand, you could view this as just a quick online joke, a quick troll, but if you really know what's going on behind the scenes with the executives over at DC and Warner Brothers and what's going on with Zack Snyder, I mean, you really gotta look into this a little bit further. This is totally a quick little jab at DC. It's a quick little jab at Warner Brothers saying, I don't care what you say about what creators can and cannot put in their shows are in their DC like properties. Like I'm, we're gonna do what we wanna do. As far as I'm concerned, I don't care if you took Batman giving head out of the Harley Quinn show, it is canon now. You know, Zack Snyder is clearly like rebelling further against DC and Warner Brothers with this tweet. At least that's the way I read into it. Maybe I'm reading into it too much. But as far as Batman goes, as far as Batman goes, does Batman give head? I mean, really, ladies, do you want head from Batman? Do you really want head from Batman? Not Bruce Wayne, but Batman. 
Like, I'm sure Batman could lay some solid pipe, but he looks like he would aggressively eat pussy. Like, his bat ears would be poking you in your fupa as he's trying to tongue down the clit. Like, is that really what you want? Is that really what you want? It just seems hella raspy and uncomfortable. I mean, someone with that raspy of a voice, I'm assuming that they can't even move their tongue around too well. Like, I don't know. Like, he's got some throat problems already. Do you really want that? He's probably going to be coughing on you from trying to deepen his voice. It just seems uncomfortable. It seems totally uncomfortable. And as far as DC is concerned, they don't want their Batman giving head. I think they view it as like, Batman's too high up. He's the freaking Dark Knight. The Dark Knight doesn't reduce himself to going down on anyone. They don't mind him having sex, obviously. He had sex with Batgirl on top of a smelly Gotham rooftop in the middle of the killing joke for no fucking apparent reason. So they don't mind their Batman having sex. So when they bring up this argument, it was like, oh, we have toys of Batman and things like this. So you didn't think about the toys of Batman when you had Batman, you know, basically bony Batgirl on top of this rooftop. That was cool. But you can't have Batman eating the box. Why is that? Why can't Batman eat pussy? I want to know from you in the comments below. Does Batman give head? Is there something wrong with this? Let me know all down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. And as always, find some time out of your day to go watch a movie. Go watch The Killing Joke. Batman fucks Batgirl. Thank me later.